Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Science Intellectual. In this video, now we are discussing few more sections under Indian Patents Act 1970. The chapter is 22 International Arrangements and the sections are section 133 to 139 along with rule 121. Section 133 Convention Countries Any country which is a signatory or party or a group of countries, union of countries or intergovernmental organizations which are signatories or parties to an international, regional or bilateral treaty, convention or arrangement to which India is also a signatory or party and which efforts to the applicants for patents in India or to citizens of India, similar privileges as are granted to their own citizen or citizens, to their member countries in respect of grant of patents and protection of patent rights, shall be a convention country or convention countries. That is, a country will be a convention country, which is a signatory or party or group of countries, or maybe union of countries, or maybe intergovernmental organization, which are signatories or parties to any international or regional or bilateral treaty or convention. And India is also a signatory or party of that arrangement or convention. And also, that country will treat the applicant of India or citizen of India in the same manner as their own citizens, respective in respect of grant of patent and protection of patent rights. Then that country will be termed as convention country. Now Paris Convention and WTO Arrangement or Agreement Paris Convention of 1883 provides reciprocity in filing with the right of priority. India became member of Paris Convention in 1998 and member of WTO Agreement in 1995 and member of PCT in 1998. India became member of Budapest Treaty on the International Recognition of the Deposit of Microorganisms for the purpose of patent procedure in 2001. At present, India is member of WTO and a member country of Paris Convention and a contracting state to the PCT. Now, in this respect, we can mention Section 2, Subsection 1, Clause D, where convention country is written as, it means a country or a country which is member of group of countries or union of countries or intergovernmental organization referred to as convention country in Section 133. That is, Section 133 and Section 2.1.D are interrelated. Section 134. Notification as to countries not providing for reciprocity. As reciprocity is an important factor in case of convention countries because they should treat Indian citizen in the same manner as their own citizen in respect of grant of patent or patent right. So, notification as to countries which are not providing that reciprocity is also an important factor. Section 134 says that where any country, the country which is notified in official gazette by central government, does not accord to citizens of India the same rights in respect of grant of patents and the protection of patent rights as it accords to its own nationals, no national of such country shall be entitled either solely or jointly to apply for grant of patent or registered as proprietor of grant of patent or proprietor of patent or to be registered as assignee of the proprietor of patent 
or to apply for a license or hold a license under the patent. That is, if any country denies or does not give the same right as their own citizen to the citizen of India in respect of grant of patent or does not give the protection of patent rights as in the same manner of their own citizen to the Indian citizen, then no one from that country is also entitled to apply patent application in India. No one can register as assignee of the proprietor of patent and no one can apply for license or hold a license under the patent in India. That is reciprocity should be maintained. Section 135 Convention Applications Subsection 1 Without prejudice to the provisions contained in Section 6, Section 6 deals with who can be termed as true and first inventor. Where a person has made an application for a patent in respect of an invention in a convention country, that will be termed as basic application. And that person or legal representative or assignee of that person makes an application under this act for a patent within 12 months after the date of application of that basic application, the priority date of claim of complete specification being a claim based on subject matter that is disclosed in the basic application is the date of making the basic application. That is, whenever the basic application has been made in any convention country and within 12 months, the person is applying patent application in other country, priority date of the claim will be the date of making the basic application. The period of 12 months referred will be counted from the date on which earlier or earliest applications were made in case of there are two or more convention countries. Section 135, Subsection 2 Where applications for protection has been made in one or more convention countries and in respect of two or more inventions. That is here, countries are one or more and inventions are also two or more. And those inventions are cognate or one is modification of the other. Then, single convention application may be made in respect of those applications or those inventions any time within 12 months from the earliest application. Provided the fee payable on making such application will be same as if separate applications have been made. Section 135, Subsection 3 In case of PCT application, which is designating India and claiming priority from previously filed application in India, the provision of Subsection 1 and 2, which has been discussed right now, shall be applied as if previously filed application was the basic application. The request for examination under Section 11B shall be made only for one of the applications filed in India. So it's not needed to apply request for examination for all of them. And 136. Special provisions relating to Convention Application Subsection 1 Every convention application shall be accompanied by complete specification. It shall specify the date on which and the convention country in which the application was first made. And it will state that no application in respect of the invention has been made in a convention country before that date. That is, this invention is novel. Section 136, subsection 2. Now, subject to the provision contained in section 10, where section 10 deals with contents of specification. What will be there in the specification? A complete specification filed with convention application 
may include claims in respect of development or addition to the invention in respect of which the application was made in convention country being development or addition in respect of which the applicant would be entitled under the provision of section 6 to make separate application for a patent section 6 deals with persons entitled to apply patents now it says that as per section 6 whoever is entitled to apply patents that is true and first inventor then legal representative of deceased person or assignee of true and first inventor they are entitled to apply for patents now they can apply for patent of addition in case of convention application and all the specification should be in the prescribed manner as per section 10 sub section 3 a convention application shall not be postdated to a date later than on which it was or it could be made section 137 what will happen in case of multiple priorities that is there are more than one priorities and those are clubbed together to file the final application sub section 1 when two or more applications for patents in respect of inventions has been made in one or more convention countries and those inventions are so related so as to constitute one invention then one application may be made by any or all of the persons referred to in section 135 subsection 1 within 12 months from the date of the earlier or earliest application in respect of the inventions disclosed in the specification which accompanied the basic application subsection 2 the priority date of the claim will be the date on which the subject matter was first disclosed section 137 subsection 3 a matter shall be deemed to have been deemed to means considered to have been disclosed in the basic application for protection if it was claimed or disclosed in that application or any document submitted by the applicant for protection in support of or at the time of the application that is the claim should be or the subject matter should be disclosed in the application and the documents submitted by the applicant should support that but no account shall be taken of any disclosure affected by any such document unless a copy of the documents is filed at the patent office with the convention application that is all the related documents should be filed at the patent office then only it will be taken into account or with prescribed period and the time period is also must to maintain after filing the application section 138 supplementary provisions as to convention application subsection 1 in case of convention application the application is made then applicant shall furnish when required by the controller that is controller will ask to furnish or to submit some documents which is required for proceedings now those documents can is complete specification copies of the specification or corresponding documents filed or deposited by the applicant in the patent office of the convention country verified to the satisfaction of the controller within the prescribed time from the date of communication by the controller the prescribed time will be counted from the date on which controller has asked the applicant to furnish or submit the documents from that date within a prescribed time applicant should furnish the required documents now what is the prescribed time or what is the prescribed period that is 
defined in Rule 121. It is three months from the date of communication by the controller. When controller will ask something to furnish related documents or required documents, the applicant needs to submit those documents at the patent office within three months from the date of communication by the controller. Subsection 2 In any such specification or other documents, if it is in foreign language, that is other than English, then translation into English or translated copy in English with affidavit should be furnished when required by the controller. When controller asks for English translation of any document which is in any other foreign language, then applicant needs to be needs to furnish that. Section 138, subsection 3. The date on which the application was made in a convention country is the date as the controller is satisfied by certificate of the official chief or head of the patent office of the convention country. That is the date on which application was made in that convention country. That is, the date will be considered as the date of filing convention country if there is a certificate of official chief or head of the patent office of that convention country issued on that date. Subsection 4. An international application filed under PCT designating India it shall be filed as per section 754 and 135 and there will be title, description, claim, abstract and drawing in the complete specification. Section 138 subsection 5 Filing date of application under PCT is the date of filing international application or international filing date is the date of application for patent under PCT. Subsection 6 If there is any amendment done proposed by the applicant for international application designating India or designating and electing India before international search authority or preliminary examination authority shall be taken as an amendment made before the patent office. So whatever amendment is done or proposed by the applicant, it will be so as if it has been done before the patent office. That is, it will be submitted at the patent office. Section 139. Other provisions of Act to apply to convention applications. Now, all the provisions of this Act shall apply to the convention application and patent granted thereof as they are applied in relation to any ordinary application and patent granted thereof. There are few points to be remembered. The term of patent of convention application is 20 years from the date of filing the application in India. The convention application can be divided and the divided application shall have the same priority date. Convention application cannot be post dated and provisional specification cannot be filed in case of convention or PCT application. What are the documents to be filed in case of international applications? Number 1. Proof of right in Form 1 along with the application or within 6 months from the date of filing the application in India. Then statement and undertaking under Section 8 along the application or within 6 months from the date of application in Form 3. Then declaration as to inventorship. It should be filed in Form 5 within one month from the date of filing the complete specification. And there is extension through Form 4. 
Another one is form of authorization or power of attorney through form 26 within the period of three months from the date of filing the application. And priority documents, convention application or PCT applications, etc. There should be priority documents should be filed along with the application before the expiry of 31 months from the date of priority. Thank you all the viewers on behalf of Scientelectual platform. We hope you like the video and please then like and share and subscribe the channel Scientelectual. We are providing these informations to help you during the preparation of patent agent exam. Thank you.